Hello everyone and welcome to Cool Chords. I'm here in Langnau, Switzerland for the Langnau Jazz Festival and it's been a wonderful week so far. Taylor XD, Richard Bona, um, many others, but I cannot remember. It's been two whirlwind days. I thought I'd do an episode about pentatonics because um, I'm hearing a lot in the festival. <laughs> But I thought I'd come up with a little system that you can practice, which at least gives you some kind of, uh, uh, you know, structure to your practice. So, pentatonic five note scale. Any five note scale, it could be an Ethiopian scale, it could be five notes. which we'll focus on today. Let's say we're in G. G, A, B, D, E. G, E, D, E, G. Now, so, there you know, so you can play it up and down. Just get used to playing it up and down without stopping, that's great. Two hands. So like Stevie Wonder threes. You can practice singing as well if you like, or fours. Richard Bonus style. If that was minor, you'd probably play E minor chord. The same notes. This is where we're getting into the fun part of pentatonics, playing different places. Different situations for the same scale. Uh, fours, yeah. I, and then once you've done those two, I'd, I'd recommend trying to skip it a bit, like come up with your own patterns. So that's E and G. But I find that this also works um, for most, like for other chords in the, in the G major scale, for instance. So A. It's a great way to really access some speed in your playing, I think. And one, one other thing to do is, let's say if we've got G major 7, let's just attack for one of the five. So let's do the G major pentatonic. Let's switch from the G to the D pentatonic. D, E, F sharp, A, B. That's what we're going to go now. We're going to try and do two pentatonics at once over one chord. So, so let's try and do now, let's say we've got B in the scale. Let's do B major pentatonic, which is an out pentatonic. And something in like D pentatonic. Uh, let's try another uh, 
two. Let's try the F sharp. And G. Let's try So semi turn to five. Pentatonics to create tension and release. So that's if you're doing a major seven, you can probably try and do the same thing for minor seven. And the counter um, to that would be D major and B flat major together. Just creating tension and release for those two pentatonics. But something I'm really excited about in my pentatonic playing at the moment is where I play sus chords G sus, G, C, and F. G major pentatonic, because we've got G in the chord. C major pentatonic, because we've got C in the fourth. And F. This kind of sound. We're doing threes or fours. Kind of getting this kind of uh, C, G, and F. Five, three, two, one. So that sounds pretty in at the moment, but I'd like to add one more pentatonic. Um, since we're going in fourths, G, C, F, B flat. Let's add the B flat. Pentatonic as well, just to create some kind of dissonance as well with this with this minor in, in what we're playing the major. So B flat major. here in Langnau, beautiful town of Langnau in Emmental, Switzerland. Take care, happy practicing, see you next time on Cool Chords.